David. Get up! Ow. Huh? What the hell? Where am I? You are in Hell House, the infamous mansion owned by the infamous scientist Dr. Herbert Craven. In fact, look over there. What? What do you mean? Oh my god! What the fuck happened to these guys? These are the poor souls experimented on by Dr. Craven. Don't worry, you'll soon be joining them. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. What's happening? Just relax, you wuss. I am the Hell Mask. If you wear me, I will give you infinite, indestructible power, and maybe help you find a way out of here alive. Now find an exit. Booyah. I don't understand. If this is supposed to be Dr. Craven's mansion, where's Dr. Craven? To be honest, nobody knows. Even I don't know. Dr. Craven has not been seen for years. Some people believe he was eaten by his own experiments. Some people stay hit. His ghost still haunts the mansion. What the hell was that? Those are the bloodthirsty residents of Hell House. If you want to make it out here alive, I suggest you use your own hands and find a weapon lying around. Now let's go. Chair. Well, my friend, I'd like you to meet Dr. Herbert Craven, M.D., or rather, what's left of him. Shit, that hurt. I gotta get out of here. Hold it right there, David. Look over there. Hmm. You know, judging by the look of the room, we might be in Dr. Craven's old abandoned laboratory. Glad that you're finally awake. Ooh, shit! My name is Jeffrey. I used to work for Craven before he died. That's cool, Jeffrey, but I must ask, if you work for Dr. Craven, do you know the way out? Actually, yes, I do. Wait, you serious? Yes. But the path is difficult. Dr. Craven's monsters are hunting you down right now as we speak. We're searching the mansion. Aw, oh, shit. Well, do you got any weapons I can use? Actually, yes. Your salvation is right on that table. <laughs> Behold the blood saw. It's a custom-made chainsaw, hand-painted, custom-made and delivered to Dr. Craven days before he died. Now you are ready to survive before sunrise. Thanks, Jeffrey. You be careful. I'll be seeing you, man. It's over. I'm done bringing you sacks of shit people to eat. This all ends tonight. You'll never catch him. I don't understand this, David. If Jeffrey is supposed to help us out because he gave us the blood saw and the machete, why the hell did he knock us out in the first place with that bat? Huh? Kinda suspicious. Look, dude, I think? don't know what you're complaining about. Maybe Jeffrey wanted us to undo what Dr. Craven did, okay? Maybe he knocked us out for a good reason, alright? Don't you mouth off to me, David Taylor. 
Son of Rick and Jennifer Taylor. Whoa, 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 hold up. How do you know my mother and father's names? Because I know all about you, David. You want know something to know? Here's something. I am a reincarnation of the Terror Mask. Yeah, the original. But I'm a lot more different. While the Terror Mask was made by Aztecs or Mayans, I was made in the pits of hell. When the original Terror Mask was destroyed by your father, a bit of its conscience came into me. That's how I know so much about you. So don't get testy with me. I made your family's life hell once, and I will do it again. Just be lucky that as soon as this is all over, I will be gone. Some twisted fairy tale horse shit. Oh no. Poor Jeffrey. Right, that is it. No more fooling around. This time, these monsters pay. This all ends tonight. Let's waste these fuckers. <laughs>
monsters to try to eat me. I'm just getting warmed up. Because, out of all the monsters we killed tonight, it's only fitting that the last creature we killed was an apparition of the Mad Doctor himself. Mm, fair enough. the sunshine, David. You earned it. Hey, man. Thank you. You're welcome, kid. But because my duty is done, and you're alive, and my part of the deal has been sealed, I must return back to hell. Once every 100 years, the hell mask will find a new where. Until then, goodbye, David Taylor.
The philosopher Scorcher once says, Hell is other people. The night that unfolded, when the hell mask was fused to my face, is still a mystery. To be honest, what happened that night, I still do not know. But I do know this, I am so happy that I am alive, and in one piece. Though I basically walked through hell itself, I am no longer afraid. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>